Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to Lesson 4 of PHP Programming, and today we're going to talk about variables. And let me say, if you're used to uh, programming in a language such as ActionScript or C++ or Java, this may be kind of disturbing for you. And it is that in PHP, variables are so easily declared. So all you have to do to declare a variable in PHP is to use a dollar sign. And there's no strict typing. Now, what do I mean by strict typing? Well, I have some ActionScript... Uh, code up here. I've actually been using this to develop a game and it's actually strict type. So if you take a look at that really quick you'll see if I'm using a number I have to actually declare it as a number. Or a string I must declare it as a string. Or an integer I must declare it as an integer. But PHP actually knows what you're declaring. So if it's an integer, floating point, uh, or string it actually knows to convert between the two automatically. So you don't actually don't, you don't declare uh, those variables. Now there's five important rules when declaring variables. First of all they always start with a dollar sign. Then once you do that, you want to follow that dollar sign with an underscore or letter. And then within that variable name, you can contain letters and numbers and dashes and underscores. Don't put spaces in your variables. And remember, variables are case sensitive. And also, when I have two words basically in a variable name, I'll have a tendency to, uh, I'll have a tendency to uh, use a dash to separate those two words. Here's a variable called my dog. Or I use camo type where the first letter is small and the other one is capitalized. So here's another variable, my dog. So what you need to do is just go ahead and go to the desktop to follow along. And you're going to click on your little course folder. When that comes up, you got your boilerplate. So here's some boilerplate right here. And I'm opening that up in Dreamweaver and you can open up Notepad. And later on we'll show you how to use more advanced editors. Basically we're just going to keep it simple right now. And so I have my uh, header and I have my PHP. Let's put some variables in there. And we've got some real simple code I'm going to bring up here and paste in there. So to make things easy, I'll just paste some code in there. And I'm showing some variables. And once again, I'm just really simple here. I'm just going to declare an A and let it equal to 5. And declare a, a large area. I mean, these are different variables now. And let's make it a floating point. We'll call it point one, two, three, four. And, or I can declare it as a string. And once again, there's no strict typing here. I just declare it, and PHP knows what I've declared. And uh, then I'm just going to print those out by pretty much just echoing those, and we'll have a break, so we'll concatenate a break to it so it actually echoes out. So go ahead and save this. We'll call this uh, Lesson 4. Variables. And save it as variable. We'll save it as variables. And now let's go ahead and run that in our browser and see what we get. So bring up your browser. Go to localhost. Put in your APHP course name, whatever you've named your course name, and call it variables.php. And when you run that, it prints out the variables. And here you have just an integer, you have a floating point, and you have a string, and they're all declared in the same way. That is pretty amazing. If you spend a lot of your time strict typing, trying to get, making sure, for example, you use a number or an integer to uh, preserve code resources, this is pretty amazing and really easy to do. So I'd like to go on now and talk about a little bit more of an advanced topic, which is called a variable of a variable. So what is a variable of a variable? We can determine a variable name by a variable. <laughs> So that sounds kind of funny, but you're going to start seeing in your PHP code some of this weird looking uh, notation like like, an, like a variable of variable or a double dollar sign. So let's go ahead and just bring this code up and run it and discuss what it does. So once again, go to your PHP folder and go ahead and click on it. So go ahead and open up your boilerplate so you can follow along. And this opens up in Dreamweaver. And once again, you have your boilerplate here so you can actually start entering code in between your PHP tags. And I'm actually going to paste the following code in. You go ahead and type it in so you can follow along. So now let's examine this code just a little bit. I have one variable called a, and I set it equal to the string me, and another variable called me, which I set equal to and you. And then I'm going to print out uh, the variable a, which should print me, and then I'm going to print out the variable me, which should print and you. But now I'm going to do something very interesting. I'm going to create a variable of a variable. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this name right here, me, and turn it into the variable and you. So basically what it's doing is taking this string right here, me, and making it a variable. So if I make that string a variable, that variable is actually just 
me. And when I do a dollar of dollar, basically what I'm doing, I'm using the first dollar sign to grab the variable and the second dollar sign to turn that variable into another variable. And so all I'm really doing is doing a switch. And in that switch, I'm pretty much just taking this variable name and turning it into that variable name. And this is used over and over again in PHP. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll call it variable of variables right here. Let's go ahead and save it as my variables. So remember, so we'll come up here and save it as my variables. And save, and let's go to our browser and run it. So I'll come along here. I got my local host type in there. And we called it my variables. And let's run it. And what it prints out is first the first string, the second string. Then what it does, it takes the name of that first string and turns it into your second string. And that's all the double dollar sign does. But you're going to see it a lot because it's actually a very powerful technique. So let's review what we learned today. We learned to declare variables by using a dollar sign. We learned that they were case sensitive. We learned that we could declare variables very easy by using loose strict typing, basically just setting it equal to what it is. Here's an integer, a floating point, or a string. In addition, an array as well. Did not show that today. We also learned about variables of variables, which means that you use a double dollar sign, where the first uh, term is your variable name, and then you just use a dollar sign to declare that as a variable. So it's a very useful technique that you'll see a lot in PHP. And that's pretty much all there is the variable. No strict typing here. PHP automatically understands your variable type. And you can also switch between variable types within the program cycle. So it's pretty fantastic and it's really easy. And if you're used to strict typing in C++, Java, or ActionScript, just forget about it. Just use a dollar sign. So thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively, and we'll see you next time.